<coughs> Hi everyone, this is my second video. Um, let's just pray. Thank you Jesus that you're giving us this opportunity of hearing and listening and um, also encourage. And Lord that you will, um, that your Holy Spirit will take control. And give me the words to speak to encourage others in Jesus' name. Amen. <coughs> yes, this is my second video, and the Lord has been talking to me about don't look back and, and don't give up, and that and fix your eyes on the Lord. So, I just quickly want to share what the Lord's been sharing with me. Um, I hope you found this in, is an in encouragement. Um, yeah, I want to start off with this verse. It is Luke 9, verse 62. He, no one who puts his hand to the plough and looks back is fit for the kingdom of God. You see, in this picture, you see a um, farmer ploughing his with the old, with the old age uh, plows with two horses in front <clears throat> and his focus was in the front to lead the horses to, to plow his field. The moment he looked back his eyes was taken off was taken off the goal what he was what he was busy doing and the plow and the um, horses would have gone crooked and gone off the off the path and I think that's what the Lord's been been saying when you have like the farmer when he have his hands on the plow he can't afford to look back because um, everything you, your past is in, in the back is is behind you so don't look back to your past don't look back to your if you move countries don't keep on looking back and say, oh, I wish I can go back to wherever I came from. Because the Lord is not in the, doesn't live in, in your back, in your past anymore. He's in your, in your current and your future. So don't, and every time you look back, you, you take your eyes off, off the Lord and it's not gonna it's not gonna be um what you want and and you will go crooked and you will give up but the Lord said don't give up we need must not give up um yes remember um, remember um, um, Genesis 19 verse 26 when Lot and his wife uh, was chased out Sodom and Gomorrah by the Lord and the Lord said to them run to the mountains but don't stop anywhere until you get to the mountains and don't look back and remember when they got out um, at uh, Sodom Camorra and look what did uh, um, mm, Lot's wife did she looked back like the Lord told her not to do and she became a pillar salt of uh, a, a pillar of salt or salt, salt pillar remember when the Lord tells you to do something you need to do it but don't add your own, your own twist to it, like um, Lot's wife did. See, see, 
Daar had de focus en die focus was on the mountains, like the Lord said, but then she turned around and she did her own twist and she became a self pillar. And yeah, when, when the Lord tells you to do something, you need to do it. The Lord also tells us he will never leave us or forsake us. Hebrews 13 verse 5. Uh, doesn't matter what we're going through in our life, uh, good or bad, if we're going through valleys, but uh, um, giving somebody a way um, to, to uh, who dies standing next to a grave or or we or we got uh, um, promotions mountain high, mountain tops doesn't matter what we're going through but especially in our in our bad times the Lord always say he will never leave you or forsake us he will never leave us or forsake us in in, every, in any situation of our lives or problems or illness or anything we always can rely on the Lord. Friends and family can can um, leave you or forsake you, but the Lord will never ever leave you or forsake you. Remember when uh, Peter walked to Jesus on the onto the water. Um, Peter's eyes was fixed on the Lord when he walk on when he walk on the uh, water to Jesus. But the moment he took his eyes off Jesus, but put his eyes on the wind, he sink. He was about to drown, drown, and he cried out and said, "Lord, save me!" And immediately Jesus stretch forth his hand and caught him. Matthew 14 verse 13. And there's also Jeremiah 33 verse 3 says call on the Lord and call on the Lord and he will hear you. <coughs> so we need to fix we need to fix our eyes. We need to fix our eyes on the Lord, and doesn't matter whatever we're going through. We need to just fix our eyes on the Lord and give Him the praise and honor and everything what He needs and what He deserves. Doesn't matter what we're going through. So keep your eyes on the Lord and he will come he will um, he will um, sustain you he will help you he will never ever leave you or forsake you um, yes <coughs> thank you Jesus that he giving us the glory and the power and everything but Lord that you will also help us fix our eyes on you so that we will never live ever live lose focus of being being with you at the end of our of our love our journey here on earth lord that that we will never give up because when we give up we <coughs> will die without you lord and we don't want that. Lord, that that you will give and renew our spirit so that we can get up when we fall down. I think, Lord, I just want to pray for everyone else, no matter what they're going through, Lord, that you will always will be there for us and for them, and that you will never leave us or forsake us. Thank you, Jesus. That that he will be with us and thank you for your encouragement in Jesus name 
Um, yes, if you do like this uh, video, then thumbs up this video and leave your comments and subscribe. And yes, I hope you are encouraged about what I, what I said. And yes, um, if you don't like the video, then tell me in the comments as well or then thumbs down. I leave it up to you, but I just shared what the Lord's been sharing with me when I need to share with with everyone. Thank you. God bless. Bye.